Welcome to my space class. Today I'm excited to bring you a beautiful Tai Chi warm up and we're going to move into some great strength work for the legs and some stretch at the end with the final meditation. I hope you enjoy it. So let's come into our wide Wu Chi and breathe deep, rolling the shoulders back, sinking into the hips, tucking the tailbone and start by sweeping the hands from side to side, just immersing your breath in and out, in through the nose and out through the, the nose. Just sweeping side to side, allowing the stretch to come into the legs, lifting through the chest and heart space. And just notice how that feels deepening into the legs. Try and go a little lower with the arms. Still keeping the bend of the knees deep. Now stepping in narrow, lifting tall. Step wide and see shape. Step in, step out, and bend to the side. Just creating a little bit more mobility for the spine. Let's drop lower, advancing a little bit more. Come up onto the toes if you like. Just notice how that moves the energy in the body. Just go with it. Taking the arms overhead, stepping wide, roll through the shoulders and push forward. Inhale up, exhale as you press. Exhale, deepening the bend in the knees. Inhale, and the breath sinks you further. Hold here, and let's go back to our circling, moving the flow of energy in the body. Just slide from side to side, go deeper. Moving with the breath, go deeper and deepen. Your body knows where to go. Just keep fluid and warming. Squat low. Come into the breath and press. Connection full and deep, expression into the move. Breathing out with the press. Filling up, rolling through your spine. Breathing out, deepening. Hold here, arch over, step in. Step wide, arch over. Coming to center, just creating that beautiful stretch into the side of the body. Keep it fluid. Hold here, stepping the feet together, lifting tall through the spine, open through the heart space. Breathe into the top of your mountain. Breathe out, hands come to your heart center. Beautiful, Tai Chi work. Let's head into the strong work for the legs. Now that we're good and warm, let's go for it. Roll through the shoulders. And now let's stepping back with your right leg. Extend the heel back. Anchor evenly and feel grounded into both legs. Breathe in as you lift the arms overhead and deepen. Deepen the work, lengthening through the back leg. Reach to me. 
Then exhale as you breathe back, opening through the chest, reaching the fingertips to the back. Lift your belly muscles. Come back again, inhale, lift. Now dropping the back heel down, opening up. Lift the heel, come to facing forward. Sink and deepen, bend your back knee. Breathe in as you lift. Exhale, drop the heel, open through the arms. Breathe in, lengthening. Breathe out, deepening. Now coming in, stepping the feet together, step back with the opposite leg. Make sure your feet are about hip distance apart behind you. Breathe in, lifting the arms overhead, sink into the legs, then reach to me, one long line of energy. Bringing the hands back, palms face the ground. Fingertips are electric as you squeeze the back body. Breathe in, sweeping the arms overhead again. Let's go for that warrior two sequence. Drop your back heel, open up through the chest. Breathe in, lifting the heel. Drop your knee, open your heart space. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you deepen the work, dropping the heel down. You've got this. Inhale strong, the upper body. Bring the hands to the thigh, step in. Shoot the hands back, draw the navel to spine. Breathe in and out as you come deeper. Inhale as you lift your arms over shoulders. Drop the shoulders down and back. Squeeze the inner thighs together for our chair pose. We have two more sequences for our warrior two. Stepping back with your right foot. Again, opening and then lifting the back heel, pivoting and opening through the arms. Inhale up. Drop the heel, exhale, deepen. Lift heel, arms rise. Deepen the knee bend, arms open. Step in, step back. Other side, drop the heel. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift the heel. Sink deep into the back knee. Open the heart. Breathing in. Breathing out, shoulders squeeze together behind you. Breathe in as you lift and feel the amazing breath flooding in. Hand to the thigh, step in. Take the feet nice and wide. Turn your toes, your right toes out, your left heels anchored, making sure the, the bent knee is tracking toward the pinky toe side and you're pushing to the outside edge of the back foot. So we're anchored and strong. Extend your warrior. Draw your shoulder blade back. Create space and lift in the chest. Breathe into the length of your spine. If you want to, you can turn your eyes to the sky. Create that focus upward. Now straightening your front leg, hand comes to the shin or right down to the ankle. It's up to you where you want to take it. Open through the chest. Use the strength and power and challenge yourself. Your core is lifted. Your side body is open. Can you lift your hand off a little bit? Floating, moving into our floating half moon. Steady your eye gaze on the ground. Lift the back leg off and float. Do what you can with that strong lifted belly. Open for a sun warrior. Feel the full expression. Feel the sun shining on your face here. Really open up the side of the body. Breathe deep into it. It should feel real good. Beautiful.
Beautiful. Come back to your warrior two. Settle, tucking the tail. Again, reaching over the pointed toes. Breathe back. And then reach to the left side. Center. Reaching back if you can. Center. Now let's turn. Turning to the opposite direction now. Come to your extended warrior, arm reaches, elbow comes to the thigh. And let's go directly into our triangle pose. You choose hand to shin or ankle. How does that feel in your body? Really squeeze the thighs to keep lifted and strong through the pelvic floor. Now find your focal point for your eye gaze. Going into your floating half moon, hand is on the thigh. Lift the back leg off. Expand through the chest and heart space. Don't worry if you falter. We're all human. We do the best with what we can each day. Eyes look to the ground. Now drop the back heel down. Come into your sun warriors. Open through the side ribs, open through the chest and heart space. Really create breath into the side of the body. Warrior two, shoulders steady and level. Breathe in and lean, breathe out. Now go as far back as you can reach. Come back to center. Steady and really balanced here. Extend your warrior reach, elbow to the thigh, upper arm overhead. Hand can come low if you like. Eyes to the sky if you wish. Hand to the thigh, and let's step in. Let's get ready for balance work next. Clasp your hands behind you. Open up through the chest and heart space. Knees bend. Now take your right foot forward. Circle it around. Deepen your knee bend. Breathe in, tip forward from the hips. Extend to your warrior three. If you want to, if you want to, keeping the knee bent, dive in deeper. Land the foot. Let's do it on the other side. Extend, deepen your knee bend, taking the leg back. Eyes stable on the ground really helps. Lift it through the chest and belly, then reach back. The knee is still bent. We're floating for that warrior three with the knee bent behind you and the arms pressing away from you. Land the foot. Lift the chest straight and strong, open, breathing steady into the heart space. Eyes lift to create length in the neck and the spine. Just enjoy this moment. Let the breath explore your body. Lifting up onto the balls of the feet if you want to, to create challenge. Now stepping your feet about just wider than shoulder distance apart. Tuck your tailbone under. Bend your knees a lot. Place your right hand behind you and lift your left arm. Creating a little back bend. Reaching back, lifting through the chest, creating that extension. Good, release. 
Now let's take Eagle Pose legs, bringing your right leg over top of left. Your right arm underneath left arm. Hands come together. And you can have your toes on the ground, it's all good. But lift the elbows up. Hands together if you can manage it. Really creating that upper back stretch. Eyes lift, bellies in. Good, release. Now I'm gonna turn to side on so you can see what I'm doing for the other side. So we plant the left hand this time, this time behind the body. Your feet are a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. We're squeezing the butt for the spinal extension and then we're reaching with the palm facing front and we're lifting through the chest for that little back bend. Good work. This time taking the left leg over top of right. Left arm comes underneath right arm. Elbows lift. Lots of challenge there. Unwind, taking your feet together, toes and heels touching now, clasp your hands behind you, open up through the heart space, lift through the chest, squeeze all the muscles behind you, lift up onto the balls of the feet, create that balance challenge. Good. Coming into our hip openers next. Bellies lifted as you come on down. Fingertips land on the ground. Chest is relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed. Come on down with the pigeon pose. So options here, remember you can have your knee bent at the 90 degree angle, or you can have the leg fully extended behind you squaring off to the side body and then taking hold of the inside of the sole of the foot at your knee back as much as you can and gently deepen the stretch by bringing your heel closer to your thigh you can advance the, the pose by pulling the foot closer and the elbow coming in It's up to you if you want to go advanced, bringing the hand behind you and trying to link the fingers. Release the foot. Let's try it on the other side. Setting up your pigeon pose, extending your leg back or keeping the knee bent. Keep squaring the hips to the side. Take hold of the inside of the sole of the back foot. Keep breathing into that. Advancing if you like, bring the heel closer to the thigh. Shoulder is back. Keep creating length and breath. If you want to advance, heel comes closer. Shoulder goes back further a little bit more. Release. Now taking your feet wide, coming into the seated position. Starting out with your feet on the ground, then lengthen them out. Create a length in your spine, supporting yourself on your hands. Come forward just to where it feels good for you. Chest comes down, shoulders relaxed. Just let your body have this opportunity for change and release. Releasing the hamstrings, releasing the back. Now slowly come back in. Taking your right foot in front of the left. Start with cross legs if you need to or advancing by bringing 
the foot to the calf or right up onto the thigh. Or you can go for the full cow face pose where the knees stack. You choose the effort and intensity, but we need both hips grounded. Then breathe in and reach over to your right side. Breathe out as you release into that a little further. Feel the stretch. As you exhale, deepen the side stretch a little bit more if it feels good. Try and relax the shoulders. Then breathe in, lift yourself tall and breathe out and come forward over the bent knees. Just let the hands land where they need to. Take a moment, adjust as you need. Come with that tall lifted spine and then release it. Let's switch directions. So remember your option, foot on the ground, on the calf, up on the thigh or the full cow face pose. Tuck your back foot in, stack the knees as much as you can. Breathe in, reaching over to the side, releasing into that side stretch. Keep lengthening, pulling the top shoulder back. Breathe in, reaching the arms long. Breathe out, come forward. Let the hands land, keeping that long lifted chest and spine as you come forward over those bent legs. Just do what you need to do. Allow the stretch in. Now, taking the knees wide, let's set up for a frog pose, child's pose first. So knees are wide, toes together for the child's pose. And come forward. So it's a wide knee child's pose, sink the hips back, just stretch that out. And then when you're ready, lift yourself up, come to the elbows underneath shoulders, turn the toes out, make sure the knee is in line with the ankles behind you. And we wanna focus on creating a big breath into the lifted belly and a breath out as we sink into the legs. Just breathe in and out. Relaxing into the work, allowing the breath to be your companion in the stretch. Just taking our time with this. It gives our body the time and space it needs to allow for the stretch to happen. Where can you let go? In that inner thigh area, relaxing it, breathing into it. Good, release, bringing the toes together first, then the knees come up underneath you. And we're gonna lie on our backs. Taking the legs nice over the hips, shoulders are wide, and we're slowly rolling the knees to one side, and then using that core still, bring it into the other side. Just massaging the back a little bit here. Good, hold it there. Bring the feet down. Bring the soles of the feet together. Reach, bringing the hands over. Take hold of your elbows, drop your shoulders down. Breathe deeply here. Just take this moment to allow the breath to flood into the body. Enjoy it. Let the shoulders relax. I 
I invite you to close your eyes if it feels good for you. As we come into our meditation, choose the option for your leg and arm placement that works for you. If you want, you can extend your legs out straight from the hips and draw the shoulder blades down. If you feel that you t you're cold during your meditation, please feel free to go now, get your socks and a sweater, put that on. The most important thing with our meditative state is to be comfortable and relaxed, as this helps us get into the state of mind that we're looking for. Somewhere between alert and asleep, where we're allowing the breath to explore the body, allowing the body to relax and deepen further into the mat and allowing the face, jaw, shoulders, abdomen to relax. So take that cleansing, nourishing breath in through the nose. Allow that breath to lift your belly and abdomen. And let your in-breath be just as slow and as calm as your out-breath. Not forcing anything in this moment. Just centering our minds on ourselves. Allowing for the space and time for our bodies to recover from all the work that we've just completed. And giving our minds the space to become better, optimized. Just let the breath come in. Let that oxygen filter through to your extremities, nourishing you, allowing that healing energy to land in your body, allowing the breath to be your guide. Good, bring your knees in. Start to prepare to wake in your body again. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring your hands to your shins and let's rotate the knees in the clockwise direction. Just massaging your back. Just giving yourself this time to release the tension that's there. And let's change the rotation counterclockwise. Just rolling the knees. And when you feel ready, roll to your side and gently push yourself back up to seated. Sitting in that comfortable position. Sitting in that comfortable position. I invite you now just to keep your eyes closed and notice how you're feeling in your body. Notice the tone in your belly, the length in your spine, the freedom in your breath, the joyfulness in your heart space, and the peace in your mind. Let's try and take that peaceful calm with us as we journey through the rest of our day and share it with the people that we come in contact with. Breathing in one last time together, lifting the hands overhead.
palms come together and prayer hands come back to your heart center. Thank you all for sharing your time with me. Namaste. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the workout today.